What's happening, everybody? This is Phil from MDC, and uh, pretty cool. I've got a couple of things to look at, guys. Nothing from stores. Uh, not that, uh, not that lucky. But uh, I was lucky enough to get a mail call in, which I'm really, really stoked about. Some things I've been wanting to add to the collection, and uh, been hesitating for a while. But uh, these these pieces here that I have are uh, basically pieces that I needed to, uh, well, to come closer to uh, completing sets that I'm trying to finish. So, um, as I said, I wasn't lucky in the stores, but this mail call is pretty cool. But we're going to look at some older stuff, guys, okay? There's nothing nothing new in uh, what I'm going to show you guys, but um, pretty cool anyways, I believe. That, that's what I think anyways. I did get this from the garage set. We got this 40, uh, Ford GT40. Which is one casting I've been wanting to add to the, the collection for a little while. But uh, just been uh, putting it off, putting it off. And uh, finally cracked and it's getting added. So we're going to open this so I can put it in my display case. So we're going to check this guy out. Nice and personal. Up close and personal, like I always say. And we are going to check out two drag strip demons, which I'm going to add to the collection. Starting off with this Don Prudhomme's Snake 2 Plymouth Cuda, which is really cool. And we're also going to compare this to the new Team Transport one that I just got. Uh, you guys uh, saw me uh, crack open um, one of the earlier videos. So we're going to check and compare. Really stoked about that. And this set is finally getting closer and closer to getting done, which I'm really, really excited about. Got this one here from the Drag Strip Demons as well. The Go, Go to Blazes Mustang uh, Funny Car 71, which is really, really cool. Really stoked about adding this one to the collection. And talking about 71 Mustangs, we are going to check out this Diamonds Are Forever. 71 Mustang Mach 1. Another one that I've been wanting to add to the collection for a while, but just been hesitant of. So as I said, we got some older stuff to look at, guys. I did pick up this Corvette from the uh, the 55 Corvette from the Boulevard series. I do have this casting, but I have it in red. Um, wanted to finish... Well... I wanted to get closer to completing this Boulevard set, so did end up picking this one up as well. I uh, was never really crazy about the colors, to be honest with you, the gold flames, but maybe when it's out of the package, it's going to look a lot better. But anyway, had to get it. Got to finish off the sets. I am a bit of a completionist in those ways, guys. So, And this one looks really cool. Never saw this one before. Saw it on uh, eBay and I uh, thought it just looked awesome. Had to have it. So uh, I bought it. And it is from the Motor Trend magazine series, 100% Hot Wheels. And we do have this Porsche 930 Turbo. Really, really stoked about this. Has an opening trunk. Well, in this case, opening hood for the trunk. Looking really good. And this is a 2002 release, so pretty cool. So anyway, yeah. Like I said, we don't have a lot of quantity, but we have some older Hot Wheels. So let's get nostalgic. Let's set up the trusty turntable. And let's check out some older Hot Wheels. All right. Okay, guys, welcome back. And uh, trusty turntable is all set up. And... Um, you know, I complain a lot about the stores being empty. But, you know, with the stores being empty, it gives me a chance to collect the older cars that I need for my collection. So, you know, I guess when the stores are empty, it gives us a bit of a break. And, uh, well, it's not really a break because really we're, it gives me time to start hunting some of the older stuff. Which is kind of cool because I really... Do want to finish off a lot of these series and a lot of them are really really hard to get including the the older boulevard uh 
the older garage series drag strip demons uh these these are getting harder and harder to to get so uh i don't mind uh when the stores are empty too bad as i say gives me a chance to catch up and speaking of catching up we're going to start off with this ford gt40 from the garage series and this is from 2010 which is really cool and it's a casting that's been out quite often there's quite a few premium versions of it uh myself i have one two three four five myself i have five other premium versions of this casting and this will be my six and also gets me closer to finishing the garage guys and here we go out she comes out of her prison now the reason i've always been a little bit iffy on this casting love this solid metal base love the old hot wheels guys for that solid metal on metal but i was never really too crazy about the graphics on this car that's the only thing that threw me off honestly was these graphics but when you're a completionist especially to a casting you'll you'll buy the casting with no matter what graphics are on it mind you this white is pretty nice okay it is a metallic flake white and it is covered you know <clears throat> sorry about that guys wow the graphics on the top i don't mind honestly i i could live with the graphics on the top they look pretty good it's the ones on the side that actually throw me off a bit i'm not that crazy about this one in the front here and this one in the back here I, I find it takes away even from the racing version look of it but that's my opinion guys still had it to be had to be added to the collection and very pleased that it's here the gt40 very very nice casting very nice casting was a super treasure hunt been in uh been in legends uh, not legends tour but uh hot wheels legends i believe or milestone moments uh been in the racing series i think uh been around a bit anyway let's move on i'm gonna show you guys this one here that is from the boulevard set and it is the same 55 corvette okay this is in its red color white wall tires and i found this casting was really really nice really clean beautiful looking version of this corvette and was the only one of them that i have in my collection so it was all by itself until now we are going to add this one here all right and this is the boulevard set as well from 2012 yeah 2012 and this one here brings my collection a lot closer to being done i think i'm only a couple of cars away now maybe what four or five maximum and here we go this 55 core like the wheels though honestly well i had to cut myself off there i do like the wheels guys love that mag choice with the white walls actually looks really really cool and i like the yellowish goldish interior just wasn't a huge fan of these flames but the more i look at the car the more it grows on me kind of get you kind of get that 50s vibe from it 50s they did use a lot of flames on their cars so possibly period correct looking really good and you know what the more i look at it the more it's gonna grow on me same color paint well same type of paint as the gt40 so it looks like we're on a white streak here 
metallic white uh, streak. That you guys can't get zoomed in there. Huh. Okay. Well, we're going to spin it. Actually, I don't even know why I'm spinning that. We're going to spin this one, guys. Let me know in the comments, guys, which one you think is uh, is better. The clean version or the flamed out version? They do look good, actually. They do look good together. Okay, moving on. We are going to check out this 71 Mustang Mach 1 from the Diamonds of Forever Retro Entertainment Series, James Bond. And this one is released in 2013. Yep. Love this casting. Always like this casting. Just find it a little weird with these huge wheels in the back. If they would have made this car... Actually, did they make... They never remade this car. No, they should do it now. With the... the Standard wheels, uh, same size, uh, the stance. Uh, if they redid this car now, I bet you it would be 100 times better. But it's still a good-looking 71 Mustang. Let's get it out. Okay, this one's done pretty good. There we go. There we go. And there she is. Now, obviously, okay, the car sits beautifully. Really does. It sits nice. Large casting. You know what? Actually, the back, well, yeah, the back wheels are just a little bit too big. But look at all that detail, guys. Front detail, rear detail. Beautiful metal base. Solid car, heavy car. Red interior, which just matches beautifully. It's actually a sexy looking Mustang, guys. Really well done. I thought it looked a little goofy in the package, but actually out of the package, it doesn't look that goofy at all. I'm very period correct. This color just suits it pretty well. Love the quality of the older cars. Okay, now, well, we may as well keep with the Mustang. Okay, so we'll open up this Drag Strip Demon 71 Mustang funny car. And uh, this one I've had on my list for a long time. As you guys all know, I am trying to complete the whole Drag Strip Demon's uh, set. And this is uh, one of the more expensive ones to uh, to get. So it's been uh, on my list for a while. And I was able to finally get it at a decent price. So I'm really, really excited about having this one in the collection. Let's get her out. Really, really stoked about this one, guys. Honestly. Even the color just looks amazing. Let's pray there's not a lot of paint rash on it. We got some scratches. Yeah, we got a bit of package rub. But package rub, it should come out. But anyways, here we go. Here's another 71 Mustang, guys, from the Drag Strip Demons. And it looks good. It really looks good. Now, obviously, the casting is a little bit... A little bit off the back wheels don't seem to fill out the wheel wells too well but it is a funny car guys you have to remember that so it does open open fully i don't know if we can get it that much open but it doesn't even have the bar for it to hold it up which is pretty weird but it stays up on its own pretty cool pretty cool love this color Metallic blue. 
The flame job on here is so realistic, it's incredible. Very realistic looking. Go to blazes. Solid metal base. Metal engine. This car is metal on metal. The only thing that's not metal on this car is the rubber tires, which is amazing. This car has got some serious, serious weight to it. And she's beautiful. Seventy one. Seventy one. Regular version, drag version. Now, how cool is that? You gotta love it. Okay. We have another drag car to look at. And first, we're going to take a look at the one that came in the team transport. I will show it off again. This one is perfected. Beautifully done. Car culture nailed it. I already said that in my last uh, video. It is gorgeous. But what I want you to pay attention to, guys, is as it spins, check out these back lights. Okay. These backlights are perfect. Car culture nailed it. Now, we're going to crack open this drag strip demons, which is a much older version of the car. Same car, Plymouth Cuda, Snake 2. This one was released 2008, guys. All right. And the car culture was released in 2022. So we've got a good. Uh, what, 12, 14 years? 14 years difference between these two cars. And let's see how advanced Hot Wheels has moved. Okay, here we go. Now, as you can see right away, the white color, it's not as white. This one's a little bit, a little bit more beige. The flames are a lot lighter. Sponsors are all the same. And even all in the same place. But look at those back taillights. Now, that's a difference. That is a big difference. Now, are we even talking about the same year car? That I will have to check to make sure because those lights look really, really weird. This one opens up beautifully. We do have the, uh, the bar to hold it up. There she is. Mag choice is gorgeous. Looking really good. This one looks really good as well. We do have metal on metal. This one here is a plastic engine. Okay. There you are. Let's check the inside. So that one is that. This is the drag strip demons version, guys, which is still beautiful. But now here we have the car culture version. That's a huge difference on the rear. As you can see, the stickers are all the same. And even the front is different. Much nicer on the car culture, obviously. And you see the flame difference. Big difference in the flames, everybody. See, one's more beige-ish, tannish. This one is crisp white. Hard to tell, though. This car culture, no, it's pretty crisp. Quality of the tapos is exactly the same. 
They're both not pixelated. Beautiful quality on the tapos on both. But it's come a long way in 14 years, guys. What a beauty. What a beauty. Looking good. Drag strip demons, guys. And we're almost finished this. Almost finished the series. I'm so stoked. Okay, last on the list, everybody. Motor Trend Magazine Series. 930 Porsche Turbo. From 2002. This one's real old. 20 years old already, this car, guys. And it is from the 100% Hot Wheels line. Let's get it out of its prison. Twenty years it's been sitting in here, guys. Twenty years. And out she comes. Freedom. Freedom. Whoop. Here we are. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Okay. We're first off, metal base. Rubber tires, which is a good thing. I was worried it had plastic tires, but it doesn't. And this seems to be scaled exactly, guys, 164. All right. That's the good thing about the 100% Hot Wheels lineup. They are scaled right. And this Porsche looks sweet. Mirrors and everything. Look at that. We've got side mirrors we've got the porsche emblem in the back in the front i mean turbo in the back we have pop-up engine so you get all that engine detail looking pretty sweet not too bad at all black interior that's a good looking porsche guys Eh, they kind of detailed the lights a bit, but they decided not to. Anyway, there you are, guys. That's a little nostalgic for you guys uh, going back in time. Older Hot Wheels, everybody. Till next time, guys. Be safe. Be well. Happy hunting. Ciao.